I have this uh, Eaton 5P UPS. Had it for a couple of years. Keeps throwing a battery error over and over and over. Look at all the dog hair and dust in here. Someone on the internet said, uh, check that C39 capacitor. It's bulged. So that's probably my problem. You can change it. Just solder on a new one. Right there. I have to go buy some right now. More money. More money, more money. Let's go blow it out though. The other caps look okay. Um, actually, this cap over here. I don't know, that one might be bulged too. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Huh? Interesting. I do have a parts board. Right, that one's okay. This one actually might be bulged as well. I don't know what the value of that one is. I'm going to have to look. I want to pick one of those up. But so far, definitely this one. Possibly that one. And... That's it. The big ones are fine. So the capacitors go bad on these. The board comes out easy. I've taken these out before, but very interesting. C39. Hopefully we can get to it on the back and solder it on. Uh, the big one is a 50. You wait 50 volt 220 UF and the little baby one is a 47 UF 50 volt I think or 4.7 it's hard to say <laughs> let's see this still 10 UF yeah that looks like 47 47 UF 50 volt Okay, so we're gonna need two. Hopefully, we can solder them. I got a parts board in the house that I blew up. I never made the video of it. It's unbelievable. Every time you want to do something, every time, something got to fuck it up more. Some place got to fuck it up more. It's just, it's too much. You know why this blew up too? With power surges here. This thing's just used constantly. So, 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22. You get four years out of one of these in condo land because this place is so fucked up. Hopefully I can fix it though. I don't have 500 bucks to buy a new unit. Well, everyone else wants to be mindless on drugs. And drunk, you can go take apart your electronics try to fix them. Why not? That explain. I keep getting a reoccurring battery code. Every five days it was and every three days and that's why. It's been known on the uh, internets. I think these are the same boards too in the rack mounted version. They were just reconfigured for the on the tower. So the only difference. Eating one cheap on these made in China, no made in Vietnam. Alright, let's put it all back in part. Good I know how to take these apart because I've taken them apart many times in the past. Yeah, that sucks. Hopefully I can get to those two pins on the back. That should be easy to solder and easy to solder. There's nothing really around it you could damage, so I gotta take the whole board out. It is what it is. We'll get we'll go order the parts, they're cheap. Those not someone steal all this condo land? I don't know. Somebody hoarded these in their house for like weeks. Where was the sensor? This place is messed. Yeah, that's your issue though. I'm glad I found it. It's nice to find the issue. Now I can find the issue on this maybe.